Hey, welcome into the Mystery Fifth Hour, our little podcast here where we get a chance not to uh, talk sports. We talk about a couple of other interesting things, always brought to you by these great folks right here. McCurry Car and Van Rental. Listen, they're the local rental company that can help you get in a rental. It is a pain right now. But they take care of you with the trucks, SUVs, and passenger vans. Make it super easy to rent. They get you in and out fast. They got locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and right there in Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. Reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. That is mccurryrentals.com. Yeah, always good to use a local company when you're yeah, tackling that big mountain right now when it comes to rentals. He's Ryan, Lance, Sean, I'm simply Jim. And we'll start, let's say we, let's say, let's say we reset the world, okay? All Control right. All of a sudden, it's Control, like, alt, delete. It's like that... Um, that movie where only the Be the Beatles didn't exist, what was that called? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. So like in that, there's some kind of glitch in the system, mm -hmm. and the world is reset. Your wives or girlfriends don't exist anymore. But movie <laughs> characters... It's getting fun, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's no clothes, no. So the li the world is reset. Your wife and girlfriends don't... Is never, they've never existed. They don't exist anymore. And movie characters are now real-life people. All right. Okay. Listen okay. to the system. Your All right. girlfriend, wife, don't right. exist, so no feelings are hurt here. And movie characters are real life people. Who would you, in a dream situation, want to date and or marry? Dalton Road Trip. <laughs> Not Road Trip. Roadhouse. Wow. That's Boy, you fumbled the line, didn't you, there, Roxanne? Right, Do we I, need to start over? No, I would okay. go uh, Sloan from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Sloan Peterson. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, she, 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 Mira, seemed like she had it together. Mira Sorvino? No. Yeah, it's Mira. I like. Mary I don't Sabrina. even know her name. She was. Uh, she really didn't do much. She was also in Legend with uh, Tom Cruise. All right. I don't know what else is she. Yeah, she. She's only. She's only in two or three movies in the eighties. Sloan I, Peterson. I, I'm all over the place now because you say Sloan, I instantly go to Sloan from The Entourage. I would have loved. Would love to date her. Yeah, she yeah. was nice. She um, was, you're nice. nice. So, so I'll you give you. Eyes. Uh, okay, a couple of movie and one TV. Okay. So, movie Bunny Lebowski. <laughs> she's a complete she's slut, a, but... She uh, would be fun to be with. Yeah. Tara Reed in her prime right there, though. Yeah, I mean, Tara Reed in her prime, yep. yeah. That, that would have been uh, that would have been big. When uh, was her prime? Um, that would have been... Uh, 99? 1990, June of 99 to about December Because when was American Pie? 98. 98, yeah. So, yeah, right in that window. Yeah. My other one, 1997, I think, um, Jerry Maguire and Kelly Preston. She was good in Twins, too. Yeah, she was strong. And then my TV Especially would... Especially draft day when she was doing the uh, yeah. um, My TV would be from Shameless, uh, played Fiona Gallagher, Emmy Rossum. Mm -hmm. Strong. Shower enough for you, though? What? Did she shower enough for you? Was she, she was a little on the dirty side. We'd have yeah. to work on that. Yeah. Uh, Get her in the shower every now and then, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> She, she was a little on the dirty side, but I like all three of those, yeah. so to speak. What about you, Brad? This is an interesting, um, interesting topic. It is an interesting topic. You know, I'm going to go back to my uh, adolescence days, um, and I think she was only in the one movie, but, and my wife's name is Jennifer, so that's funny, but Jennifer in Back to the Future. Your wife doesn't exist. The original Jennifer? Yeah. The original Jennifer. Elizabeth Shue played her the second. Yeah, but the first one. You know why they got rid of her? She was too tall for my. Uh, yeah, she J. was Fox. taller than Michael J. Fox. Yeah, like, she was probably it. cast originally with Eric Stoltz, yeah, right? right? Yeah, I would imagine she. She never did anything after that. Yeah, but you know, I, I just remember as a teenager, uh, man. Because what was that? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. I wasn't even a teenager then. I was only nine. Um, so when that movie came out, but she was straight fire, yeah. man. She the was. start of that she movie. Gave her his number to her grandma's. Yeah, and, and, and I did like Leah Thompson. His in the past, mom. That was a good Leah Thompson right there. Lorraine. Lorraine. Leah, Leah Thompson was in The Wildlife. Did you ever see that one? She's I know they haven't. Howard the Duck. <laughs> but in The Wildlife, she was a, uh, a waitress at a donut shop. She got hammered a couple of times. Yeah. But, but of course, the stereotypical cop came in, married with family. <laughs> Been a long day. The Wildlife's a terrible movie. <laughs> I, am, I am dying to know. Oh, who Dunaways? Yeah, wait, I mean, all done? these rom coms. Yeah, I did not think of a TV one. I, uh, I, no, I thought we were doing movies. I was trying yeah. to think of a What about January Jones with no tongue? Betty Draper. Well, I mean, um, then they're very honey. I don't know her, her, even her looks. She can give just the worst look. She is the biggest bee in that yeah, show, man. She, she, she kind of is. Yeah. Uh, movie wise, uh, Cameron Diaz in The Holiday. I like The Holiday. <laughs> I knew it, I knew this at 100%. God, I got roped into watching that shitty movie uh, last movie. Christmas. Yeah. I mean, I would take Jack either, Black in it. I would take yeah. either yeah. way of the exchange. I'd take Kate Winslet there. 
Um, but so many for me. Sloan for Entourage. Love, love, loved her. Would then you want Kate Winslet from Titanic? No, he wants it from oh. Little Children. No, 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 no. Uh, I know he wants it from Little Children. <laughs> Mayor of Easttown? No, but, but what Mayor is, of Easttown's rough. <laughs> what is your uh, what's your objection to her in Titanic? Oh, I have none. Zero. Well, she, why did you say no, no, no? She won't share the no, door with him. Say no. Oh. Well, no, no objection. Oh, no, no, no objection. No objection. What's your objection to her in Titanic? I'm not a big, uh, she's a wonderful actress. I'm just not a big Kate Winslet yeah. fan. Um, See, I think in Titanic, she's madly in love with you. She's willing to leave all that money, all yeah. Billy Zane's money, and jump on that life raft with you. And she has a good time. What she, about she Kathy Bates and about Smith? Smith? But see, here's my problem. Misery's better. Yeah. Here's my problem with Kate Winslet in Titanic is I think at some point you're going to get back to your little shack in New York and she's going to be like, this ain't good for me, man. I, I used to have it really... I'm going to need you to go out and get a better job, okay? At least you can provide for me. I see like, you from a sinking ship. If she had survived, well, no, she did survive, but if uh, yeah, Jack. Yeah, see, I was going for realistics. Yeah. yeah, if Jack had survived, right, both those had survived, it would have been a miserable living for him when he got back. She was always going to be on his butt about making more money because she got used to the lavish lifestyle yeah. with Billy Zane. Yeah, she'd be high maintenance. Oh, super high maintenance. And my other one was... And you uh, couldn't paint her. Nope. 90210, uh, who was the girl that came Tiffany in? Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Yes, loved mm -hmm. her. That well, was Kelly Kapowski back in the days. Loved her. Yeah. She came in and ran that peach pit. Mm. Business lady. Yeah, she was nice. Yes. I don't know what happened to her. You, she, no, she's got a cooking show. Do you think she was better on 90210 or Say by the yeah. Bell? 90210. Oh, no. She was a little more weathered, a little more Who age. was the... She's uh, in too. Yeah. She's good looking in that, too. Yeah, she was. And a little phrase I'd like to call you, legal. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. she was legal in Say by the Bell. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, in, in maybe 45 states, but... Well, I mean, still she be was a over little, 16. Little, yeah, but it'd still be a little creepy. Um, Yasmin Bleeth, what was she in? Oh, Baywatch. Baywatch. Baywatch, that's right. Yeah, I mean, there was a slew of those in Baywatch. Yeah. I'll tell you, in their prime, the girl that was in Blown Away. Uh, Aaron, oh, Nicole Eggert. Nicole oh. Eggert, yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. Everybody, Charles everybody. Charles in charge and blown away. Yeah, no. Charles in charge is easily where she made a bigger name, but everybody references blown yeah. away because of that one scene. Yeah, the like, teddy bear scene. Yeah, she's a hundred. She's a. <laughs> she's a hundred percent no more for Charles in charge. I know. That was Tony Danza, right? She was, uh, no, it was, uh, Scott Bayo. But she was Scott also. Bayo. She was also in um, Baywatch. Full circle. Yeah, she was. Yeah. I'll tell you what I did like as a kid too. I liked Alyssa Milano when I was a teenager. That was more of like the teenage crush, though. Yeah, I kind of liked your uh, fear. Yeah, she was a little, she got after it. She, was that uh, Who's the Balls, her and Tony Danza and mm -hmm. Melissa Milano? Jennifer okay. Love Hewitt, Party of Five. Jennifer Love Hewitt, I saw, they did a little spoof on uh, Fox's pregame on Sunday because she's on 911, which I've never seen. But she's, uh, she doesn't look like she used to. Yeah. I actually, Age comes for all of us. I know, man. I actually, I actually like the other girl in the Party of Five, the sister. Lacey Chabert? No, the older one. The one that ended up kissing the girl in the other movie. Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. Uh, yes. Wild Nev always was a little rough, rough for me. I know, but I like him. But did Denise you, did, Richards in Wild Things, of course well, she was in high school, but yeah. she really wasn't, though. Um, Patsy oh, Kensett in Lethal Weapon 2. Yep. I uh, can't say her name right now. The girl from Whole Nine Yards with Bruce Willis. Amanda oh, Pete. Yeah. Amanda Pete. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Needed a razor, though. That's a great plan, though. Yeah, great plan. yeah. I don't even remember the, the basis of the movie. I remember it was Bruce Willis, Matthew up. Perry. Yeah, Matthew Perry, Rosanna Arquette, and uh, well, I mean, Clark Duncan was in it. Men are walking upstairs to off him, and she opens the door topless and distracts him, and then he shoots some cross shot. Oh. Uh, yeah, very realistic. I think it's a documentary. No, but she was uh, completely naked. It wasn't just topless. Um. I don't remember that. I'll go back and look. Yeah, because I, I remember the hip to hip. Rockstar will, <laughs> Rockstar will report back to us in the next Mystery <laughs> Fifth Hour on that one. Uh, that's uh, topic one. <laughs> Halfway through, brought to you by our friends at Mick Curry. Yeah, if you need a car, van, or a truck, you rent from Mick Curry. Mick Curry Van and Car Rental. Uh, the rental company you can depend on right now. They got all the vehicles from the trucks, the SUVs, passenger vans, and they make it easy to rent, helping you get in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and in Coleman. 2nd Avenue Northwest. Reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003. Or visit mickcurryrentals.com. Let's spin the wheel. Uh, Brown, your topic. My topic is going to be a friend or personal foul. And I know when I say personal foul, you think sports terms. I'm just saying something that's a foul in a personal relationship or a friendship relationship. And I'll start with my example. My example actually occurred right here in this very room in which we're taping this. And uh, it, it was both a personal and a friend foul. And unfortunately, Dunaway was on the uh, fouling end. 
Um, this is always a foul. And we've, I think all three of us have been guilty of this. All four of us have been guilty of this, okay? So I'll own it, too, that I've probably done it as well. Um, we were in here one day. We're, this is our lobby. And, um, and Kelsey, who was off camera, was in here working, right? And I had walked in to ask her something. And a gentleman walks in on a complete cold call. He's trying to sell us something, right? And uh, you could tell right away this is going to be... This is going to be a lot to deal with, right? This guy's going to want to talk. He doesn't know a ton about the business. He's just seen our logos on the door, and he's coming in trying to sell us stuff, right? So he starts talking, and Dunaway and I are in here together, and I'm like, well, I can't leave Kelsey by herself with this guy. So I sit down Dunaway and start talking, and Dunaway stays for a minute and then literally says, uh, I got to go check on that recording, and walks away. And I'm like, that is the biggest personal foul yeah, but, right but there. The I huge personal foul. I, I did that, but of course, I've done it before. I've stayed out here and talked to a guy who just came in and gave me his card, and, and right. we did that. So yeah. I stay sometimes, but I only did. I, I learned from the best. I mean, you guys would have done that in a heartbeat. You no, would, I would not do that. That's a no. That's a friend foul. Have, no, I would have told him. None of us are in charge. The dude in charge well, that, will be back next week. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell. Um, well, you, you, you probably have. You would have done it in a heartbeat. I beat you to the punch one time. You're going to bring it back one up. Time. Here you know, on a camera. I haven't mentioned it until right now. That's a friend foul. <laughs> that's blind side. But y'all right? would agree that's a friend foul, yeah. right? If you're both yeah. stuck in a conversation. Was, uh, and I you, obviously wasn't yeah. stuck. I yes, out. you were. You were right here. But if you're both stuck in a conversation and you know neither one of you wants to well, be in the conversation I, I think, and one taps out, that is a friend foul. I think foul. now you yeah. guys can alternate. If it happens again, then, I get then the next. You, I get the next tap out, right? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, you brought up a good one, though, because uh, I used to do a uh, spot for a local moving company, and I would always say there are certain things you never want to do to your friends and one of those is ask you to help them move and i would rather just give somebody money my cut like what's it no going to cost you yeah. than, than uh, spending my whole day saturday uh, or sunday i agree completely and i think that could be a form of hell like eternity you've got to just move furniture i mean it sucks <laughs> satan's like all right we're gonna clean it sisyphus with a, a piano upstairs we're gonna, we're gonna clean out the living room now it's, it's gonna be 180 degrees <laughs> and you're moving you're moving for eternity. Eternity. yeah but that could be hell i was thinking about is and like <laughs> like, like, my bed is sacred, and like, if you come to my house, that's fine. But like, the the one thing I can't imagine, because I remember we used to have high school parties, and people would hook up in people's parents' beds. Like, if anybody ever banged in my bed, I'd have a serious problem with that. Good friend or not? Wow, I missed the. Uh, I was waiting for moving of your bed there when we were uh, transition. We went from the moving. To a different no, I just yeah. did two ones real quick. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, that, one, that one's oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm not even happy if you sleep in it if I don't know. Like if I'm out of town. Yeah, and bring, I came over and took a nap in your bed. I don't know why. Somehow yeah, but what if you? I mean, that's the thing about like putting a house on Airbnb or whatever. Oh, I know. It's or happening. VRBO, you know that yeah. somebody's using that bed and they could do a lot of things in that bed. Yeah, yeah. well, that's hotels too. But just recently, we had a chance. Uh, a friend of ours let us stay at their house out of town, and I really tried to sleep right here on the mattress brought my own pillow i didn't try to you know i just didn't want to oh so you did this very nice and not this. Right, okay did. that's very very I didn't, symmetrical I didn't, I didn't use the whole bed yeah I didn't use the whole bed didn't want to didn't want to mess up the so whole. only one part had you naked in it no i didn't sleep naked no. oh you didn't full i had a hat on full pajamas full pajamas, <laughs> full pajamas. Like, do you have the little like i was 1966 <laughs> do you have the little Ricky? do you have the little turn down thing in the back where you just like anybody sleep Billy? in full pajamas because it's uh, gonna be so uh, hot because uh don draper I, oh mad men, men. That, i tell my wife that all the time i'm like god that looks so hot on mad men they go put on those full and my granddad used to do that i remember now that you mentioned it as a kid my granddad would wear the pant pajamas and a pajama top and go to bed that it seems like the yeah. hottest thing in the world to me <laughs> Remember the, in 80s sitcoms the Kind of like a Full House comes to mind is when uh, nighttime where it was like Joey Gladstone, uh, Uncle Joey had on a sweatshirt, sweatpants, and socks. Yeah. We just woke up like, oh my oh, God. Oh, yeah. How hot was that bed? <laughs> yes. Sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Because I am underwear only and I wake up yeah. sweating. Yeah. yeah. Rockstar, don't make it weird. I'm not just agreeing with you. Yeah. A lot of robes in the old days of television, too. People yeah. all around robes. Do you guys have robes? You well, somehow there's a, there's a huge racket. Like the kid's screaming because he has a nightmare. and has enough time for both parents to come in with their okay. robes tied and everything. Honey, is everything okay? Yeah, we, robes and house shoes. Ho hotel rooms, sometimes I'll do the robe. Occasionally. The occasionally. But the, the robe also was hot. You know, I don't need hot. Like Maggie has a robe at the house that hangs on the back of the bathroom. Is it still that pink one? She, I'm no, kidding. Oh, wow. It's foul. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, if I said that about Jennifer, we'd hear about it two months from now. It'd be crazy. Um, <laughs> so she's got a robe. Mary said every time you know, she gets out of the shower, robes on, she does her makeup, her hair, whatever, in that robe. No, my wife wears a robe, yeah. I, I just, I'm not a robe guy. I'm not either. Do it's you get just, the same smell Brown gets when she uh, comes out of the bathroom? He doesn't know. He doesn't know what Jennifer's um, smell is. No, but hey, you're talking about Maggie. I do like the smell well, I know. Of, yeah. of, of the post. Freshness. Yeah, yeah. No, no, fresh, fresh Maggie is my favorite Maggie. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> no, I've never done the bathrobe. I'm like you in a hotel sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do it, but they're, they're just big and heavy and I've and never got a thing where you get out of the shower and put, in the, put on the bathroom. Oh, that's like the last thing I need to do. like a towel. I've never done that in my life. Because that, you know what that's like? That's like the post-workout shower where yeah. you take the shower and then you start sweating again and you cannot uh, stop sweating. Uh, like if I were to get out of the shower and put a robe on, I'd just start sweating. How, are you like an extremely hot shower I, taker? Yeah. That's so weird though, Rockstar, because I'm hot-natured. I'm very hot-natured. Um, but I like a really hot shower, too. You would think I'd want a colder shower because of that. See, at our house, my bathroom is right by the dishwasher wall. So when the dishwasher is on, you get a lower shower pressure, and then you get that spurt of warm water once the cycle changes, and yeah. it goes right back to hot water. Those suck ass. Hey, how about this, though? Uh, awesome house. It, we really don't. It was built in 1955. So Spire Gas came out the other day, and they had to change out my uh, the register on my gas thing or whatever. They're going to some digital... Some crap, I don't know. The guy just showed up. They apparently left it's me a, a voicemail. No, they apparently left me a voicemail. I didn't check, and I'm sitting around, and the guy shows up, so I'll let him go change it. But he had to re, uh, refire my pilot light on my water heater, and he was like, I don't know where you normally have it set, but I'm going to set it like right here. Buddy, that water was scalding. <laughs> and the first shower I took, I just, you know, I'll turn it on and I'll let it heat up and yeah, all. Your and normal I, place. Yeah. Huh? Your normal yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, my normal, place. All, which is all the way hot. And then I just back off from there. Well, I stuck my leg in to get in the shower and it scalded <laughs> my skin. I can't believe how So did it you was. turn the pilot light down or just dial it back on the. Uh, well, I dialed it back on the shower and then went down and turned. There's a little dial on the pilot, on the uh, water heater. See, some of us old school people still have like shower tubs when they get in. So, oh, yeah. Like if you're in a hotel, I'll give it because they'll have the mm -hmm. shower curtain. Let's say this is the shower. Okay. The shower nozzle's here. Okay. The shower nozzle's here. And then you. Uh, which side of the shower do you get in? Do you get in this side with the shower? No, back. I get in the very back and I then walk the towards and the a lot water. Of people I know uh, are married to get into the front. Right there in the water? Yes. Doesn't make any sense. Immediately, yeah. once, once it's to your right no, temperature, you put no. your hand in and everything. Yeah. Just that temperature and they go. And then I close it and then I get in the back. Yeah. I always get in the back. All right, too. And then I walk my way into the water. Yeah. Yeah. Do you go shower curtain inside the tub or outside the tub? Liner inside the yeah. tub. Yeah. 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 Shower but sometimes outside. they want it outside. And I'm like, no. that makes no, no sense. That's no. not blocking anything. Not the liner. It's got to be inside. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do your friend foul? I didn't. Mine was that I'm guilty. Of, it's not really a foul. It's not. It's. I'm super guilty of it. So before y'all start yelling at me, is not returning texts, even though it's like it's. Oh yeah, I sent you one yesterday. Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> Check your phone. <laughs> I was wondering why you didn't respond. I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. I mean, big group texts, which we have a thousand. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> we have a thousand of them now. See, I feel like I have to, it's so stupid, like, late say. Saturday night, I saw all these texts Sunday morning, and so I went back and I felt like I had to respond to everybody's text. And well, I'm just, just talking about, like, even your closer friends, I'm not talking about like, people, like, acquaintances from vast different lands or something like that, so I know I'm guilty, I had a friend of mine that went to high school, he's been texting me asking about my kid, and I just never responded, like, it's not like I'm, I'm not going to, it's just like, I'm going to get back to you. No, but I see it, because I do that sometimes, too, I'm just like... I just really don't want to respond to texts right now. It's yeah. a lot of so it's just that's it's it, yeah. it, it makes you feel bad on the other like why is he responding to my text like what what did I do and it's like you didn't do anything no. it's just that well, well, the problem, my ass didn't respond the problem that's is once you respond then you get in conversation with you a lot of people a, that's dialogue. right you got to think of an, a, a way to close the conversation but I'll tell you a funny one sometimes it, I just hit the lead conversation. <laughs> you do. That is. You do. Hey, but that is a super passive aggressive move, though. Well, because it shows up in the conversation. You're like, well, how did that? Don't we get so pissed off? No, like, you did it not long ago in our group text, just as a humor. I made a joke about you, and you immediately left the conversation. <laughs> so it <laughs> says, just it was up the conversation. Was that humor? <laughs> no, I added your butt right back in because it's like, oh, he's not going to play this but, passive but aggressive. But you guys game. remember, I got roped into some group conversation with some of our listeners yeah. last year, and they were in the chat board saying, that I uh, I left the, the conversation. 
But I mean, it was, it had like, none of this stuff had anything to do with me. Yeah. Oh, I do it all the time. It doesn't bother yeah. me. I mean, I've got other things to do than just go, I mean, if you've got 24 people on this, I don't, I don't care about the latest meme about Trump or Biden. I don't care. Yeah. And, I'm going to leave this conversation. And it's going off nonstop. Yeah, nonstop. Nonstop. You can mute the notifications if you don't want to just leave it. Yeah. And that way you never get the notifications on it. One day you just open your text, you're like, geez, I've got 40 missed texts, and it's all in that one chat group. But if you just mute the notifications, you never see it. I wish it was just like you can, instead of blocking a number, you could just mute a number so it never popped up. Just yeah. kind of like Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what Lance sent me, which is great, so do I, do I need to get credit for this? Uh, some t-shirt company has started a... Oh, I saw that t-shirt. You yeah. get me too. Yeah. Um, I was going to order it for you, but... I didn't respond. Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't respond. I've got one right now, though. Uh, we could uh, spell it like Alabama, Utah. Alabama, the county? Yeah. Utah, U-T-A-W. Yeah, Utah, give me two. You start selling them. So I've got one guy that is a buddy of mine in Knoxville, and he texted me. It was a week ago Wednesday, last Wednesday. He texted me, just checking in, had not texted me in a while, and mentioned the Dolphins. This is when Miami was 3-0. They were about to play Cincinnati before Tua got hurt. You know, all those things. And I was on the golf course when I got the text. So here's part of my problem is if I get a text during the show or on the golf course, I generally don't respond. And I think I'll go back and respond later. I never go back and respond. Well, it's like when you're in bed and you have a funny idea or a yeah. great bit. You'll be like, God, that's awesome. That's oh, I know. Too good. Compl- I don't need to write I'll, that down. I will not forget this. You're not going to forget this. This one's too good to so be So like a week later, I'm driving to work and I was thinking about something and he came to mind and I'm like, I never responded to that text. So then I stopped when I got here to work and responded to it. And it's been almost a week now. I guarantee you he's waiting a whole other week because I made a big deal of it. I said, man, I'm so sorry I waited a week to respond. You know, I just forgot. And I guarantee you I know him well enough to know he's just waiting until Wednesday to write me back so it can be a week for him. But today. why don't you beat him to it, ask him if he's got any uh, Tennessee Any Bama Tennessee tickets. tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our Mystery Fifth Hour today, brought to you by our friends at McCurry Van and Car Rental. That's right, trucks, SUVs, passenger vans, they make it really easy to rent, helping you get in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman. On 2nd Avenue Northwest, call and reserve your rental today. 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003. Or show them Dunaway, Mick Curry. Okay, show them Rockstar. Mick Curry. Man. MickCurryRentals.com. That's MickCurryRentals.com. <laughs>